overseas now to Venezuela, where the crisis is growing over a battle between President Maduro and the country's opposition leader. President Trump recognizing that opposition leader as the interim president. And now Maduro has offered, has ordered American diplomats to leave the country within 72 hours. Our chief global affairs correspondent, Martha Raddatz, has the latest. And Martha, the White House is defying that order to have diplomats leave that country. Uh, they certainly are. The U.S. says Maduro does not have the authority to kick out our diplomats. So what you have this morning is on one side, Maduro, who was sworn into his second term just a few weeks ago. On the other side, the 35-year-old opposition leader, Juan Guaido, calling that election rigged and being sworn in himself as president by the National Assembly. And caught in the middle of all this, those American diplomats and their families who will remain in the embassy despite massive demonstrations against Maduro, who has overseen the economic downfall of this once prosperous country. Maduro is accusing the Trump administration of an American-led coup. This remains a very, very volatile situation. Robin? It certainly does, Martha. Thank you. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.